if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 50 of the My Player series here on FIFA 16. We'll have a three game special today as it's the half century mark and we start with a game against Celta Vigo in the semi-finals of this pre-season tournament. We are in fantastic form both personally and as a side and uh, hoping that we can go all the way in this competition and pick ourselves up a pre-season trophy, maybe even two pre-season trophies if we can pick up the Community Shield at Wembley against Chelsea as well. But, as you can see, we'll play Celta Vigo first. If we win that game, then we'll have the final against whoever wins the other semi-final on the 19th, and uh, then we'll play Chelsea as the third game. If we lose to Celta Vigo, we'll play Chelsea and then the first game of the Barclays Premier League season away from home against Swansea. So hopefully you'll enjoy. If you do, then obviously make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Plenty of content been going up the past week. We are well underway now with two new series here on the channel, obviously with the uh, career mode RTG with Nottingham Forest, episode of which will come to you tonight or the uh, the... Valencia career mode, an episode of which will come to you tomorrow. But for now, uh, we'll jump straight into this game against Celta Vigo. It would be nice to win the preseason tournament as a whole, especially considering we've started off in such great form so far this year. And then to, uh, to add that with a trophy at Wembley as well would be just an extra string to our bow so far in our My Player series and in our own personal career. Hugo Mayo, back to Alex Lopez, into Fontas. Been a quiet opening few moments, no chances as of yet. Celta just keeping the ball and then uh, we'll steal it off them, go for a run, but nothing really has come from any attack yet. We could slot through Besic here, Darren Gibson, and has done, and this could be the first chance of the game. It is, it's off the bar, win the second header, Besic, he can't. Well, there is the first chance of the game, just as I start, I start a highlight and say, well, nothing really much has happened so far. We go on a great counter-attack and hit the crossbar. Unfortunately, though, not able to make the breakthrough, so we will stay at nil-nil for now. But maybe that will start to liven things up. Now that Celta know that we can damage them at the other end, or potentially damage them at the other end, they might get a little bit more adventurous going the other way, knowing or feeling like they're going to need a goal or two to actually see us off and get through to the final. Gibson. Delefeu, Gibson, Delefeu, Lukaku's down the line, lovely bit of footwork, oh, can I get there, can I get there, I'll try my best, no, Fontas gets himself between me and the ball and is able to smash it clear, we'll see what uh, we could do from this set piece and Delefeu to take it, back to a full strength starting lineup this time around, obviously the game against PSV towards the end of the last episode was with a weaker side, as we already knew we were going through, so the manager was just giving some rotation players the chance of a bit of first-team football and giving those of us that had played every game to that point a bit of a rest, or some of us that had played every game to that point a bit of a rest. But 34 minutes in, and those you know, better players, bigger-named players, higher-rated players that had a rest haven't really uh, kind of shown that here, shown that they've got the fresh legs and fresh minds. Besic, to me, a bit of space for Darren Gibson. Might come back to me. No, he's drilled it out wide to Delefeu, who's danced inside the box. Delefeu with a shot. Worth a try. Didn't quite get enough whip on it with his left foot. You see what he's trying to do there. Just bend it in the far post. Didn't quite happen. Arda Turan has gone to Manchester United from Barcelona. That's a signing and a half. That'd be very good for Man United. Not necessarily the best of moves for Barcelona, unless they've brought someone else in that we're unaware of right now. Barca and both Barca and Manchester United will uh, be Champions League opponents of ours this season. Actually, thinking about it, did Man United finish in the top four? I think Man United may have finished fifth, actually, last year in the My Player. I can't remember whether I'm getting mixed up with this series and the Chelsea series, but I know Man United didn't qualify for Champions League in one of the two. Uh, I guess we'll find out in due course, but uh, Barcelona definitely going to be one of our opponents in the Champions League this year, waiting to see when the Champions League group is going to be drawn. We may even get them in the group stage, who knows, that'd be great, wouldn't it, to play against Barcelona in our first year in the Champions League? Look forward to that. I'm definitely uh, waiting with uh, bated breath to see what the Champions League draw is, but let's concentrate on the here and now, shall we? And we'll see if we can get ourselves a goal to go in front. Uh, before the end of this game, maybe even before the end of the first half. We can give this to Lukaku, but no, nope, turned his back on it. Here's Wass. Nice turn inside. There may be a goal for Celta Vigo before the half is out. Oh, now we've both hit the crossbar. What a strike. He hit... What? No, uh, stop listening. Stop listening. Thanks for that, console. Never mind. Decent strike, though, from... Who was it? Borja Iglesias with the strike. 
Apologies for <laughs> my connect getting in the way there, but that was a very good shot. At least it did it for the replay and not for the actual chance itself. That was close to 1-0 Celta before the end of the first half. Hopefully, well, we may even get a chance at the other end ourselves now. Go on, Delefo, what are you going to do here? That's a good cross. Lukaku underneath it. Oh, it could have been 1-0 at either end before the half-time whistle went. But uh, as it stands, despite having two chances in stoppage time, it's 0-0. Nolito to Johnny. Being forced backwards by good defending, actually, from Delefeu there. Lukaku might put the pressure on Fontas. He doesn't need to because Fontas has given it straight to me. Now, Lukaku is kind of in an unfindable position right now. I've got support coming from Kevin Morales. We'll slow this up, let him make the run. So there's space in behind for him to run onto. Decent first touch. I'll call for the ball back through to me. Here we go. Chance for a shot. Oh, I've put it wide. I've put it wide five minutes into the second half. A really good opportunity to try and get that in the far corner. Maybe I should have finessed it. I just my guy cut across it. You can see from the spin on the ball, it just arced away. Oh, that's frustrating. A really good opportunity to make it 1-0 at the start of the second. But still, we stay at 0-0. Morales to Lukaku. Good first touch. Great turn. Romelu Lukaku in the box. He's put it wide as well. What is going on today? Everybody's having wonderful opportunities and nobody can hit the target. Oh, I wasn't far away though. Oh, that wasn't far away. We're getting closer and closer to a goal. I wonder how long it's going to take before one actually comes. Cleverly turns back. Is he going to give it to me? I've called for it. Took his time. There we go. We'll give it to Baines. There's space for Morales. If he can go back, he can't. Here's Darren Gibson. He's going to turn, though, and get it to me. I see Lukaku. We'll give it to him. Back to Darren Gibson. Oh, what a save, Ruben Blanco. Brilliant save. How strong an arm was that? There was a lot of power behind that, and he almost made it stop dead next to him. Nice move, really well struck, and just bosh. Really strong arm. Well done, son. There's a corner, though, for Everton. Telefo to take. Leandro Rodriguez has come on for Lukaku. Cleverly's come on for Besic. That's going to drop to me. Uh, it's the worst first touch I've ever seen. Then he just kind of kicked me with his clearance. My guy stumbled, couldn't get to the ball, and then they smashed it clear. Brilliant. 20 minutes still to go. Somehow a goal has to come in this game, otherwise we're going straight to penalties. Cleverly. We're on all-out attack, so surely... We're, oh, play the through ball. He's in. Funes Marie, the centre-back. Oh, he's done it with the last kick of the game, practically. Wait, we'll celebrate with him as well. So I've been missing chances. Our striker, best striker, Romelu Lukaku, has been missing chances. Put a centre-back up top, and he plays a great finesse shot in off the post in the last minute to send you through to the final of a competition. We've been playing it all wrong, all, all game. What a finish, though. Did it come off the post? No, it was just really well placed in that bottom corner. Funes Marie, there you go. 1-0 Everton with practically the last kick of the game. We're going through to the final of the European International Cup. So we're through with a 1-0 win. And PSV are through with one, a 1-0 win as well against Roma. I would not have called that result. I said Roma would have beaten the, uh, the Dutch side, to be completely honest. So maybe... It will be an easier final than we may have thought, question mark. Although if PSV can beat Roma, then they can beat us. Ross Barkley is out for two months with a broken elbow, which sucks. Unlucky, mate. Never mind. We'll push forward into the final then of the European, in European International Cup. And then we'll have a Wembley appearance against Chelsea. Cleverly played in by Besic into me. There's Lukaku playing the... Oh, it's a nice through ball. Gordon Romelu finished that. Yes, 1-0 up after 12 minutes. We get the assist as well. Romelu is going to sprint... Well, not sprint off, but he's going to run off towards the camera. Do we celebrate with him before he gets there? I'm trying. No, he's not going to the camera. He's going to the substitute instead. He made his mind up. He was like, camera or sub? Camera or sub? I'm going to go and celebrate with a substitute. We'll take that assist. That's a great start to this European Cup final of sorts, I suppose. We'll take that. Nice finish as well. Perhaps could have finished it a little bit better, but uh, we'll take it. I'm really pleased with my through ball, though, on my left foot. And then on his right foot, yeah, he could have placed that much better. But un unfortunately for the goalkeeper, despite getting a lot on it there, Zoot, not able to keep it out. 1-0 Everton here at the San Siro against PSV. Telefeu on a nice run. On a really nice run. Lukaku's waiting. I'm waiting. He's going to pass it to Romelu. That's two. Simple, simple stuff. What a run from Gerard Delefeu. Just left the defenders for dead. He's got so much pace in those little legs. Nobody could keep with him. Just kept sprinting and kept sprinting and kept sprinting. And then it was a simple layoff. And a good finish from Romelu. Two goals for him. Two goals for Everton. We're on course to putting another winner's medal around our neck. We've got a playoff final winner's medal from Coventry. We've got an FA Cup winner's medal from here at Everton from last season. And 
now we could be adding, probably will be adding, if this opening half an hour is anything to go by, a European International Cup winner's medal as well. Besic tackles Guardado. Here's Lukaku. There's two or three of us in the middle waiting for a pass. Lukaku finds Baines. Baines finds me. De is making a run, so we'll dink it over looking for him. He brings it down with a header. Can he get there on the end of it? Tom Cleverly, no. Arias with a great clearance. That needed to be made. I mean, Tom Cleverly probably wouldn't have finished it, but still, we had the opportunity to uh, to score a third. Here comes a corner. Still an opportunity to score a third, but Funes, oh, Funes Marie's header was pretty tame and uh, dealt with by the back line. Guardado and Zoot between them will eventually get it away, playing it about out from the back. The Dutch way, Arias will come forward, but it's probably, almost definitely, going to be 2-0 at half-time to Everton. Cleverly through to Besic, back to Cleverly. Cleverly coming forward into Besic. He's got Leandro Rodriguez in front of him. Rodriguez, chance for a shot maybe. Chance for Besic to shoot and it goes over the top of the bar. We brought on Leandro Rodriguez for Romelu Lukaku at half-time. I'm getting booked. I can't believe this. We brought on Leandro Rodriguez at half-time for Romelu Lukaku and Aidan McGeady for Gerard Delefeu, which baffled me really because they've been our two best players other than myself. And I'm getting booked for that. I just... Oh, I don't know. It's not worth the booking as far as I'm concerned. Never mind, Davy Prupa, or Proper, Prupa, I don't know how to pronounce that with an umlaut over it, is coming onto the pitch and uh, we'll see if uh, our booking will actually change the way we play. It shouldn't do, we're still on a 7.2 rating and we're still playing very well, I just will be a little bit uh, less enthusiastic when it comes to sticking my foot in for tackles. Besic, Leandro Rodriguez in front of him, Besic, still going. Still going, has the shot on target and Zoot needed to save it. We're on part of the bus, but clearly Besic isn't taking any notice of that and wanted to just have a crack. Brian Oviedo coming on for Leighton Baines in the last few minutes. But we're quite happy, or the manager is quite happy. Oh, please, oh, I wanted to hit that on the volley so bad. I really wanted to meet that flush on the volley. Never mind, we'll have another corner. Where are we now? Oh, Back here, about 40 yards out. Never mind. Common with a header on target. It's a comfortable save for Zoot. We've had six shots, as you can see there. They've had none. It's been one of the simplest finals I've ever been involved in, to be completely honest. Oh, too busy concentrating on the clock and not looking where I was running. Unless the end may get them in for... Uh, don't give a pen. He didn't. Wow, I'm actually surprised. I thought the referee was going to give a pen there. All right, well, it still then is one of the easiest friendlies that I've ever been involved in. The most simple. No! Oh, oh I did give a foul. Oh, shit me. I, th I thought they were going to get a pen a moment ago, and then I absolutely panicked, thinking I was going to get another book in there for sticking a foot in. We stay on the pitch. The scoreline stays 2-0, and it surely isn't going to be long before the final whistle goes. I will get the... Uh, the phrase out though, it is the simplest of final victories I've ever been involved in. PSV have just had absolutely nothing all game. They've offered not even a single shot. I don't think they may have had one. Uh, well, that one they just had is probably the only one and is. That's all they've mustered all game long. It's ridiculous really because the entirety of this pre-season tournament has been absolutely goal-filled or chance-filled at the very least. But we'll take a 2-0 win and a winner's medal to go hand-in-hand -hand with the FA Cup and playoff winner's medal that we mentioned earlier on. Leandro Rodriguez came on at half-time, didn't really do anything. So the two goals from Lukaku in the first half are enough to see us pick up another trophy. We'll take that. It looks remarkably similar to the Champions League trophy, doesn't it? But we'll take it. It's a European trophy of some description. Maybe, maybe we'll win the Champions League trophy for real this year. I highly doubt it, but we'll give it a good old crack. We'll jump now into the Community Shield final at Wembley. Technically, it's a final, I suppose, of sorts. And we'll see if we can get another winner's medal to go around our neck and into our trophy cabinet. Time will tell. Off to Wembley we go to face Chelsea. All right, where do we go with this? I see Lukaku. Get it out to him. Might go to Morales. He's gone to Darren Gibson, and Kellas will clear it away. We'll see what we can do from this throw-in then. Coleman's going to give it to me. Do we go to Lukaku again? No, I'm going to go back out wide. Coleman gives it back to me. Now we'll go to Lukaku again. Great first touch. Great turn. Lukaku across to Darren Gibson. 1-0 Everton in the Community Shield at Wembley. Brilliant start to this game for us. Chelsea not playing their strongest eleven. it has to be said. With players like Thomas Callas at the back. They've got some guy called Sturgeon at right back as well. Lovely turn. John McKell in the middle with um, Matic and Fabregas not both playing together. But really nice finish and a really good goal. Everton 1-0 up here against Chelsea. And it looks like we might, might, he says, with a long way to go, be on our way towards another trophy in today's episode. 
Delefeu to Lukaku. Space out wide for Coleman. There's Delefeu pushing forward. Hopefully get a little bit further forward. A little bit of off the ball dribbling into Lukaku. He's gone on a nice run. Go on, Romelu. Go on, Romelu. He might go all the way. Romelu Lukaku. Good block by Ramirez. Lukaku still trying to get the defensive work in even after giving the ball away. That was madness. Chelsea playing... Uh, John Michelobi and Ramirez in, at CDM. They've got Callas and Zuma in the middle. Look, I'll show you their lineup so you can see just how weak it actually is. Uh, there we go, player ratings. We're starting a full strength 11. This is the exact same side that would start a league game. And they've got uh, Victor Moses on the left, Ramirez and Mikel in the middle, uh, Sturgeon on the right hand side of midfield, Zuma and Callas at the back with uh, no sign of Gary Cahill or JT or any other big centre backs. So it's been pretty simple for us so far. Their ability to keep hold of possession hasn't been anywhere near good enough. As you can see, Victor Moses just gives it straight to me. Lukaku is going on a nice run now, bursting past the man. There is support coming from Seamus Coleman, although he didn't really want to get too far forward there by the looks of things. Here's Besic. Goes to Darren Gibson. I'm going to drop in this gap here. Might be able to squeeze it through to me. He has done. Can we get a turn on Zuma? We can. Shots in. Oh, pick that one out, Thibaut Courtois. Everton 2, Chelsea 0. We've scored in the Community Shield. We've scored at Wembley. It's 2-0 against Chelsea here. This is such a simple game. It's really weird. I expected a big test against PSV in the uh, final of the European International Cup. We didn't get one. And it's Chelsea in the Community Shield. You expect a challenge here as well. But so far, we haven't gotten one. They really need to improve. Desperately need to improve. If you want to get anywhere near a trophy here, Chelsea, we're tuning up after half an hour. Dedefeu to sprint. Oh, I was going to say, just sprinting away down the right-hand side. And then he cut back. But we'll give that to Lukaku. We'll push on. Gibson, Morales. Oh, we've gone backwards. Fair enough. Besic into me. Uh, lay that across to Darren Gibson. It's Morales. It's it first time. Draws a great save out of Thibaut Courtois. Opportunity to make it 3-0 before the half is out. We weren't quite able to do so. Really nice move again. We're playing wonderful flowing football here, this Everton side, in this third season. We've been the dominant force in every game we've played so far. I'm really pleased with how this side is progressing. And hopefully we uh, can come away with a good win here against Chelsea here. They haven't threatened at all in that first half. It's been very comfortable for us at Wembley and we are halfway towards winning that community shield. As you can see, 66% possession and for us and no shots for them. It's ridiculous. Where, where are Chelsea? They've just not turned up at all. We've got a free kick in a dangerous position. Delefeu to take. Oh, he's gone short to Morales. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, hello. Nice little fancy turn from Morales. Besic to Delefeu. It's coming our way. Lukaku's there over the top of the bar. A third goal at any point in this second half would seal the game, you would have thought. And if we could have got it this early on as well, then uh, we could have just sat back quite comfortably for the rest of the half. Unfortunately, we aren't able to uh, completely put Chelsea out of sight just yet. But the way they've been playing so far, again... Athpilicueta gives the ball away. Lukaku into me. Good first touch. Oh, I can't get past Thomas Callas. So tried to just burst past with pace and catch him on his heels. Didn't quite work. But Chelsea need to step things up here, to be honest. This is uh, the Chelsea, or similar performance to the Chelsea that started the season in real life, as opposed to the Chelsea that we were playing with in FIFA earlier on this year. And again, Victor Moses gives it away. Lukaku's make the run. We'll play him through. Please keep that in, Romelu. Besic is busting a gut to get into the box. Lukaku might find him. He might find me. No, Mikel's won the header, but it's only as far as Delefeu. And they're able to get it back. Chelsea got to do something, though, if they want to get themselves back into this game. And so far, they've done absolutely nothing. Corner for Chelsea. Sturgeon to take it. In it comes. Uh, it's not the best of corners. Although he is going to find Oscar here on the edge of the box. We'll just travel with him. Hazard has come off the bench. Finally, Chelsea have made a move to maybe liven things up in their attacking style. Costa with the shot not far away. Well, it's about time they brought Eden Hazard on, to be honest. They could do with Cesc Fabregas' creativity as well in their uh, deeper midfield slots. But that's the closest Chelsea have come to a goal so far. They've still got 13 minutes, though, to try and find one. And they've just brought on Matic as well for John Mikel Obi. So maybe they're going to be a little bit more solid defensively and a little, more, a little bit more creative offensively with uh, with Hazard now being on the pitch. But you get the feeling it's too little, too late here. There's only 10 minutes and they need at least two goals to send us to extra time. Although I think it might go straight to penalties, the Community Shield final. I'm not sure. If it does go straight to pens, then uh, it would be penalties. But they don't look like they're going to be able to get themselves back in it. I'll be completely honest. Delefeu going on the run. We've accidentally tripped up uh, Athbilicueta there, but it may have worked in our favour. Delefeu seemingly wanting to just keep it in the corner, but we'll take the corner itself. 
Hopefully we don't go short. Hopefully we do actually put it into the box. It looks like we're going to. They brought on Kennedy for Oscar. That's going to be cleared away. I'm just waiting here about 40 yards out in case it comes back this way. Is that going to be a throw to us? It is. We'll take it. Leandro Rodriguez to throw it in. Oh, nice little back heel from Delefeu. Leandro Rodriguez is a little bit too slow to get his first touch away. Oh, can I get there, though, to pick that off from Ramirez? I'm trying. I'm running around him, but I'm not getting anywhere near the ball. Five minutes to go. We're on park the bus. Chelsea are going to lose this community shield. Delefeu pings that up to Leandro Rodriguez. Brings it down, I'd say, well on his chest, but... It was a pretty heavy touch. Here's Kevin Morales. We're up against Mats Hummels here. They brought him off the bench. Why would you not start Mats Hummels in a game like this? They started Thomas Callas and Kurt Zuma at centre-back when you've got Mats Hummels on the bench. They started Victor Moses wide left when you've got Eden Hazard on the bench. They started John McAlobi when you've got Nemanja Matic on the bench. Doesn't make any sense. Clearly Chelsea just didn't take this competition seriously enough or this trophy seriously enough and uh, it's cost them, it's been a simple game for us there's Moses, oh no it was Ramirez with an awful shot and that's gain that's a 2-0 win for us, that's two trophies in today's episode a, a European International Cup in pre-season and also a Community Shield trophy victory as well so that will go into the cabinet with the FA Cup that led us to get to this Community Shield they, Chelsea players don't even seem that fussed, but we'll take it. That's going to bring today's Half Century special video to a close, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed, of course, and subscribe if you haven't already. A three-game special today. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Feel free to check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days, whether it be this series, the Career Mode RTG, which will come later tonight, or the Valencia series, which, of course, has been ongoing throughout the week. If you don't know what and when I upload, there is a schedule in the description of every video, so you can check that if you want to know exactly exactly what videos go live when and uh, I'll be probably be streaming tonight as well over on twitch.tv forward slash Chesnoy Gaming. What it'll be I'm not sure, might be Football Manager, might be FIFA, might be COD because it's double XP weekend. Uh, I'm recording this on Friday so I've no idea what will happen by the time Sunday comes around but for now hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I've very much enjoyed recording it for you so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.